if the WA is constantly compared to the NBA, it's it almost seems like it's always going to fall short and seem if it's a step behind or a grade below. D does that make sense? Is that even fair? So when people talk about basketball, they always bring up the NBA. Well, if you guys if we keep doing that, the WNBA is never going to be above. Like, do you guys see that as a group, or do you guys think, hey, no, that's how we have to do it because that's how we're going to get shit pushed through? I think it's a little bit of both. Okay, so yeah. I'm okay. I'm I'm pro NBA. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Most people aren't when it comes to the WNBA. They don't like. I'll tell you this: a couple years ago, with the most recent CBA, the yeah. Players Association used the NFL's Players Association to, with help for bargaining and all of this stuff. They did not okay. use the NBA. Um, I think the WNBA's biggest mistake has been trying to detach itself from the NBA. And I'll tell you why. Okay. I don't, I wasn't alive, but the NBA at 30 wasn't the NBA at 75. Mm -hmm. It just That's wasn't. What I like it, to try to make all the time. Absolutely was not. And yeah. people want to compare the WNBA at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years old to a product that struggled its first how many every years Already until it finally years. was able. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like it took them, the w, the NBA has only been profitable since Michael Jordan. Like, let's just call it what it is. Like, mm -hmm. the NBA didn't really become the product that it was until Magic, that, that right. era. And so right. what happens is that if everybody would take it for what it is right now, like you can't be, you can't compare yourself to the NBA at 75. But what you can say is, yeah. Show me and help me what you with what you did to get from 30 to, to 70, where you are mm -hmm. to where you are now. 